In your Public Works Department, you can reduce costs, improve service, and streamline your work processes by using the geographic approach to operational planning. Specifically, GIS analysis can help you identify opportunities for proactive maintenance, prioritize infrastructure improvements based on failure, and ultimately ensure coordination of projects among city departments and external agencies. It is often a challenge to make time for proactive maintenance. However, when asset information is stored in a spatial database, you can run a simple query to determine, for example, valves that have not been exercised in the last year. Since this data is stored spatially, you can quickly see the asset locations on a map and use symbols to show additional information about those assets. Here you can see the valves that need maintenance. Some have not been exercised in the last 12 months. Others, shown in yellow, have not been exercised in the last 18 months. There is a high concentration of valves that have not been exercised in the past 18 months in District 7. Now that the valves have been identified, the next task is to route a crew to all of these locations in District 7. After zooming into the area, the asset database shows detailed information about all of the valves in the system as well as the water mains in the system. A simple analysis will route a crew to all of the valves in District 7 that have not been exercised for more than 18 months. As this analysis runs, a route is developed for a crew starting from the headquarters location and traveling along an optimized route to all of the valves in District 7 that have not been exercised in the last 18 months. Turn-by-turn -turn driving directions to all of these valve locations can also be created. To develop this route, first run a query on the asset database to determine the valves that need to be exercised. Then leverage the detailed streets network underneath to generate an optimized route. This is just one of the many benefits of storing asset information spatially. These same concepts can be applied to other applications as well if your organization doesn't manage water assets. Here you can see work orders in a municipality. The color of these work orders indicates the type of work that needs to be done. Some are storm sewer cleanout, some are debris and green waste pickup, as well as water work orders. Hovering over each of these work orders gives you additional descriptive information about what needs to be done at that particular location. In the northeast part of the municipality, several debris and green waste pickup work orders need to be fulfilled. As you drill down to the location, you can see additional information about the area. Again, you can leverage the same underlying streets network that's stored in the asset database and generate an optimized route for the crew that starts at headquarters and goes to each of the work order locations. Unfortunately, not all maintenance is proactive. For example, pothole repairs. Storing information related to pothole incidents and assets in a spatial database allows you to quickly see information about potholes on a map and determine the impact of these incidents on your infrastructure. Here you see potholes that were patched in the municipality over the last year. The color of these potholes indicates severity and the amount of material that was required to fix these particular potholes. Again, you can leverage the underlying streets data set to aggregate information about these potholes and make decisions about infrastructure. You can run a simple analysis that aggregates information about the severity and the number of potholes along each of the streets. This analysis will help prioritize streets that need to be repaved. This simple, repeatable methodology helps you assess your assets and prioritize work and future project initiatives. 
Here are the results. Attention is drawn to the red sections of the street infrastructure that seem to fail at a higher rate based on the amount of potholes along it. Once you have a clear picture of the roads that are likely to be repaved, you can better coordinate projects with other city departments and other agencies. This helps you avoid problems such as repaving a street only to have the water department dig it up to replace a main. Using GIS, you can quickly integrate information about many projects that are going on in a city, including water department plans and projects from other organizations such as cable or gas companies. With GIS, you can quickly see the spatial distribution of projects. Then you can take it one step further and run an analysis that ensures you know where all of these projects are going to overlap. This methodology allows you to repeat this process so that you are working with the most up-to-date information, which ensures proper planning and execution of work. For example, this information can be used to notify other city departments and external companies of plans to repave. This kind of analysis helps you coordinate permitting applications accordingly to ensure all water main projects are complete on a given road before scheduled repaving begins. Armed with this information, you can ultimately save time and money by avoiding the costly redig situation.